and welcome back to my channel. This week I had absolutely no idea what to film so I asked you guys on Twitter what I should film and you guys came up with the idea that I should do cooking with Fluffy. So here we are and I'm going to make my favorite treat for you guys. It is called Oreo Cookie Balls. So I'm heading to the store right now to get my ingredients so then we can start baking. So let's go. Okay, so we need Oreos, a brick of cream cheese, white chocolate, toothpicks, and wax paper. So let's get started. take an entire pack of Oreo cookies and we're gonna put it in a plastic bag and crush them up. <sighs> okay, so the easier way to do this is if you have a food processor, put all the Oreos, yes, filling and all, into the processor and just grind it up until it's really fine. But uh, I don't have that, so my way of doing it is to just put them all in the bag and crush them up. Let me feel my cheeks jiggling. <laughs> so now that I have one of the rows all crushed up, yeah, that's good enough. I'm going to just dump this. The last bag I did, because I was crushing it so much, sometimes little holes can get in the corner of the bags, so it might be a good idea to double up just to avoid from any spills. So now that we have our Oreo crumbs, we are going to take some softened cream cheese, and the recipe calls for eight ounces, which is about one block. All right, here's my gross looking cream cheese and I'm just going to put it in the bowl. After the cream cheese has been added to the Oreo crumbles, I'm gonna put them in this little mixer and simply mix it all up until it's like a paste almost. Um, not that thin, but just until it's really mixed. I'm gonna be taking little bits of the mixture and forming it into balls and placing it on the wax paper. I was able to make 68 balls, so now comes the fun part. I'm going to be taking a small bowl and Ghirardelli or Ghirardelli, however you pronounce it, white chocolate bar. I don't have any special chocolate melter or um, machine like that, so what I do is I put it in the microwave, little blocks, 45 seconds at a time, and just keep an eye on it and stir it until it is melted. Okay, to the microwave. My chocolate is melted and I'm going to take some toothpicks and simply dip the Oreo balls into the white chocolate. I 
I covered these two sheets with white chocolate and left these 12 plain just in case someone did not like the white chocolate. I put this batch on a cookie sheet and now I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator until the chocolate hardens. I'm gonna go check on the Oreo balls. After sitting in the fridge for a while, the chocolate has hardened and they are now ready to eat and share with your friends and family. All right guys, that's it for this week's video. I know it was super different, so let me know what you think of these kind of videos. I've never done anything like this before, but I thought I would just try something new. And if you try out the recipe, be sure to tell me if you like them or not. I'm sure you will because they are amazing. Make sure to give the video a big thumbs up and leave a comment below. And I will see you guys next Wednesday. Thank you.